Hello and welcome to another um, How To Suno video. Now, uh, this is actually covering some of the same ground that I've done before, but when I last recorded the video, I was on the road and was only able to do it from my mobile phone. So in that case, I didn't actually use the mobile app because as far as I'm aware, this feature is not available in it, uh, but I was using it in a browser. So as you can see, hopefully, uh, I'm sitting at my desktop now um, and from what I'm aware of, there isn't a place where you can go and find your uh, songs in their workspace from the front page. Uh, but what I am going to do is I know the song we're looking at here is um, The Color War, and I do have a um, workplace around that. So if we come into the song itself, you can see you one can of the see things one of the do. things we can do is move it into the workspace. And once we've moved it into the workspace, um, that's where you'll see here I've got all my different workspaces. Uh, the way I'm using that is I am uh, creating a song, and as you can see, this one has been uh, realistically driving me nuts. So I can go in and add it to that. Um, and what I'm going to do is just go go into my library here yeah so you'll see when I go into the library here um, we've come up with the workspaces and if I jump back here you can see all of those in here and we can also see trashed workspaces because I managed to create one uh, probably about five times while figuring this out so the color war this is a great uh, song to look at for this because I've done a lot of the things that a workspace will do. So as I said, the workspace you can see once you've created the song and put it in the workspace, when you create a version, um, it will show you the workspace that you're dropping it in. Um, your main one, so without any um, classification, is the My Workspace and you can see all my old songs are in there. Um, but when you go into the Color War, I've created quite a number of songs in here. And you can see I've done some things like um, given them thumbs up and pin them. Now, pin them is pretty cool from my perspective because, well, I made like a song, um, you know, the thumbs up and the thumbs down to the large language model help improve the quality of the system. Um, quite often, um, I use the thumbs up, not very regularly do I use the thumbs down, but the thumbs up is definitely, I like that song, uh, it's come out well, the lyrics sound good, the music sounds good, but that doesn't mean it's the one I want to finish on. So what you can do now is, you'll see here, I've got this pinned, and what I'll do is I'll actually unpin this one. Um, so you'll notice up the top here, here are all my pin songs. Uh, and I can't remember which one it was I pinned. Let's just do this one again because I actually know the main song I want. Um, so we've got these shortcuts to the versions of the song that you may go as you're working through it. This is the one I want to land on. Uh, this is my perfect version. So you can actually just switch to pinned and there's all your pin songs. Uh, and this is something that I quite like as well. So you'll see in here uh, by default um, disliked are hidden. Um, you can also uh, change that to just being liked songs. So you'll see now all of those ones where I hadn't marked them have disappeared. Hopefully uh, that's pretty clear. And then we've got some other options in here. So if you do or don't know them, um, public is if you've exposed it to the public, you've shared it. Um, I haven't made any of these public yet. Uploads is if you've uploaded music into the system and then you've created a song from that upload. Um, but in here is where you can go, and I know I've got some stuff in here, so extensions, um, which is you've got a version of the song, and uh, at a certain point in it, you basically cut it and start making a new version of that song. Um, hopefully you're across that. If not, um, I believe in my first video I put up with creating songs that showed how to use extensions. Uh, and then once you've made those extensions, ooh, I thought I had made a full song, uh, but maybe I've deleted that. So when you've made those extensions, um, you can come in here and you'll see there's an option uh, for you to get the whole song. I'll just do it on this one. Um, so what that does is that will merge together the original part of the song, this extension part that I've created here, 
um, and when that comes up in a minute you'll see it has uh, a full time so obviously we got to 1 minute 57 or something like that 58 um, and then there's that 44 minute extension uh, in there so full songs um, will show up just that one um, covers if you've used cover functionality in the system um, I find that can be useful if you've decided you've landed on the style you like but it isn't quite the fit it's a little bit inconsistent but you can start putting in new types of um, criteria and uh, in some versions it will make a difference to the song uh, and the other one um, I do find interesting is remasters so quite often I'll get to what I think of as my perfect version of the song uh, in this case this is this one and then I'll just remaster it so that it will um, just have that extra polish so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear that filter um, yeah there we go you can clear all um, I'm going to play this song so this is the one I think I've landed on that I really like and like I said what I'm going to do is um, so you'll see here that workspace has still got Color Wars. So hopefully, if I do a remaster, it will just, yeah, you'll see it's dropped it into here. So just if that workspace down there isn't there, um, go into my workspace. And that's where you'll find your song. So um, originally when I started looking at workspaces, I thought mm, it's okay, you can keep all this stuff together. But once I've started to have a look at that pin functionality, the filtering, um, all of those kinds of things, I've actually found it quite useful for just keeping my work together. And in particular, this song I've been working on for a week. Uh, it was having problems getting it right. Um, but if we have a look here, I'm going to click on this one. So, um, if you are looking at my site, keep an eye out for the color war. It'll be coming in a little while because I've got a bit of a backlog. Um, but if you like my songs, let me know. I do like to hear from everybody. Um, if you like my how to videos, um, click on those and probably subscribe um, because as Suno are doing things, I am finding uh, that I'm making them pretty regularly. So um, I hope that's uh, something that interests you. I hope you get some more visibility of how to use workspaces off that. Um, and let me know what you're doing with it. If I've missed something, I'd love to know.